Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisa Garotero. So I'm doing an elemental reading for the fire signs. This will be for Aries, Leo, and Sag. I will timestamp it, okay? Um, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I'm using the Moon Allergy deck to get your message, and then I'm going to clarify, okay? So this is for Aries, okay? For Aries spirit. What does Aries need to know this week, spirit? For Aries. For Aries spirit. It's in their highest good. So Aries, your message is your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Okay. All right. Let's get that message for you. Maybe you've been really trying to work at something, especially like when it comes to like finances. If you've been like trying to build your finances, build your savings or something. Okay. So it says, first and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your life, in your working life, this card holds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is a time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time. That will inform your best course of action now. So think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Okay, it's time for you to go for it. All right, so let's see why this message is here for you. Aries. Look, let's put the deck. Okay, seven of pentacles and the uh, fool. Okay, so it's like you want to go for something, but you're kind of waiting. Okay, uh, kind of waiting. Spirit's like, okay, you gotta go for it. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish or achieve, create a plan, organize it, and go for it. You feel like you are doing something similar, okay, or doing something because it is paying off for you. Okay, all right. The five of swords and the six of wands, okay? This is you feeling like you're not going to be successful, okay? This is you almost like talking down to yourself. It's like, I'm, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Feeling defeated already, okay? With the judgment energy in the world, okay? This is, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is you, um, like, Closing out cycles, but being reluctant, okay? Um, making making decisions, but um, maybe even questioning yourself, okay? Maybe a cycle is closing out for you, and you're like, did I make the best decision? Is that right? Was that the right decision? Um, yeah, judgment came out, okay? Yeah, but judgment here, page of pinnacles. Okay, since you did make the judgment, since you did make the decision, Page of Pentacles, here's your offer. Okay, here's that offer. It's like, did I make a decision? Oh, I feel like I'm not going to be successful. That's, that was the wrong decision. No, it is. Okay, Page of Pentacles, like now here's your justice. Okay, with the justice energy, you've been waiting. You've been waiting for a while. You've been waiting. Okay, and now it's coming through because you actually did make the decision. Okay, all right. Anything else for Aries? Mm-hmm. The three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Um, the Three of Cups is uh, family, friends, uh, associations um, coming together even, all right? With the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card, King of Wands, you um, you might you might have uh, allowed your friends or community or associations to influence your decision making, okay? Maybe adding to that mental conflict, you know, or that... A feeling of defeat, like it's not going to be good, it's not going to be successful, making you question yourself. Okay, you could have been pushing back or resisting um, a fire, another fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Okay, or someone you saw as a partner. Okay, why is this card here for Aries? Yeah, your friends kept you stuck. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, um, this community or this group of friends. We're keeping you in a mental prison. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. But this King of Pentacles, um, they could have been telling you that, you know, this person is going to communicate to you. They're going to progress things forward. They're going to, you know, change. This is going to, you know, be good. But you just kept, you know, being left disappointed. Okay. Yeah. It's like you question if you should even, yeah, with the magician energy. Okay. Yeah. Mm. it's almost like because you were kind of like reluctant to make a decision reluctant to make a judgment you created um the knight of wands the knight of wands is the player energy the knight of wands is something that's not consistent it's like you created a, a situation that was not stable because you allowed people to influence your decision making, keeping you stuck. Okay. Um, but you are making a decision with the judgment energy. Okay. And as you make the decision, if you're questioning whether you should, as you make the decision, you will see that there are positive outcomes to it. Okay. It's like things just instantly start to come in for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Okay. Listen, once you get this monkey off your back, okay, listen, for real, it's like this is impacting your um, stability. This is impacting your finances. This same, this thing that you could continuously keep uh, subjecting yourself to, okay, allowing yourself to be negatively influenced by friends or people around you, okay, um, allowing them to uh, make you feel like the decisions that you're making aren't the best, and they are, okay, Um once you get this monkey off your back, there you are. A stable, um, your hard work paying off, okay? Ten of swords, putting something to a close, okay? That's when your wishes are fulfilled, okay? That's when your wishes are fulfilled. Allowing yourself to stay stuck is just creating an unstable situation, okay? So don't be afraid. To make those tough decisions. So that's what I have for you, should. Moving on to Leah. <laughs> Can't make this step up. As soon as I say it, the, the card just came out. Can't make it up. Yeah. For Leah. One more for Leah. All right, Leah, let's see what we have for you. So, deck for this week, for Leah. For the upcoming week, for Leah. What message do we have for the upcoming week? For Leah. For Leah. Okay. Oh, no. Wrong way. <laughs> That's how I'm used to doing it. Okay, Leah. Your message is. Confidence is your key to success. Okay? Yeah. Confidence is your key to success. I have ended question. All right. New moon in Leo. Listen, that's your car, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. So it says this. This car holds the start of a new cycle for you. When you're going to look and feel more gorgeous, more in the spotlight, more like you have something worth showing off. If you want someone's attention, this card says it's coming. However, this may not happen all by itself. You have to be willing to do your bit. That means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer. Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle and carry yourself accordingly. This card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on. Alternatively, yeah, <laughs> it can herald good news for or a new start for your children. OK, so this is good. OK, things are starting to turn around for you. Just be confident in that. OK, and walk in it. OK, look like it. Look like you're confident. Look like you know what you're talking about. OK, <laughs> let's see. Why is confidence is key? 
fear for Leo spirit. The devil energy try to come out, Capricorn energy. Maybe you have a, a, a habit of doing something, okay? The devil energy is about like unhealthy patterns and habits and stuff that we do, okay? Or have around us, okay? Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups on the bottom, okay? It's like you got to make a tough decision, but your heart won't let you, <laughs> okay? Um, maybe even speak your truth about it, okay? Maybe spirit wants you to um, be confident, okay? Enough to speak your truth about a situation, okay? It's like you're so, um, yeah. The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Okay, maybe, okay. The Seven of Swords is like, Lines and cheating, but it's also like not being transparent, not being honest. Okay, um, with the Queen of Swords energy, if you're coming with this Queen of Swords energy, you could be dealing with an Aries, I mean, a Gemini, Leap, or an Aquarius. But this is um definitely like you're not being honest about what it is that you want. Okay, um, this person could not be, could not be being honest. Okay, um, with the Ace of Cups, is okay. Maybe you want something new or you want something different. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you are not confident in coming forth. You're you're not confident. Um, about what is it you want? Okay, you're not being confident in what is it you want. You're not being. Uh, yeah, you're not being transparent. You're not being honest with yourself, even. Um, certainly probably not honest with whoever you're dealing with either. Okay. Why is confidence is key here for Leo? Okay. The four of wands. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like starting over or having something new scares you. Okay. Um, and is making you question yourself and go back and forth. And that might be like an unhealthy habit or pattern for you. Um, yeah. With the will of fortune, okay. Spirit is saying no, but it's time. It's time for you to do something about it, okay. You can't keep allowing yourself to kind of walk the fence, all right. Whatever direction it is that you want to go, you have to be confident enough to go, okay, to do it. Um, speak your truth. Be honest with yourself and others. Okay. Um, with three of swords, energy, and justice. Okay. You you might have experienced some type of disappointment before. Okay. But this is almost kind of like Spirit's way of saying that it's time for you to experience something different, okay? So with that being said, you have to kind of like a, go forth and not automatically see a situation having the same outcome, okay? You have the Six of Cups. That's that past energy, okay? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Temperance, Sagittarian energy, okay? The Hermit. Virgo energy, the nine of cups, the two of cups, and the king of wands. Hmm. Okay, so it's definitely about you speaking your truth and being honest about what it is that you want. Okay, if you want something new, okay, if you want a new spark, okay, if you're, um, ready to create some type of foundation for yourself okay yeah this is your time this is your time to do things differently than you've done in the past okay um a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn could be trying to balance things out with you okay they've been thinking a lot about you all right um thinking about what it is they want how you know seeing you as a wish fulfillment okay maybe wanting partnership okay yeah. 
and you might know that this is your happily ever after, okay? But you're stressed about this offer, okay? You're really stressed about it. Anything else for Leah? Maybe because of other people. Okay, anything else for Leah? This is something that you want to, okay? But um, you're allowing fear to make you resist, okay? But the cherry energy and the seven of cups spirit is like move past the confusion, the worry, the overthinking, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is an opportunity for things to, to, to heal or recover, okay? So be be honest and how you feel. Be honest in what it is that you want. Um, and and don't be afraid. Okay, this is actually your time to get what it is that you want. A change from whatever it is that you experienced in the past. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Moving on to Sagittarius. Sagey spirit for sage. Okay. For sage spirit for my Sagittarians. What message do we have for sage of the week? What's in their highest good spirit? Thank you. Thank you more. Okay, says your message is have faith in your dreams. <laughs> See, it's allergies, oh, allergies tear me up, yo. Okay, so wax and moon crescent. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith, okay? Don't give up. Things can actually work out in your favor. Work out the way you want them to. Just keep working at it. Let's see. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is, um, why is this message here for Sage? Have faith in your dreams. What is it that Sage is, my Sages want? Why is this card here for Sage? Please make it clear. Okay, the Queen of Cups energy. You, okay, I feel okay. So you either have, yeah, you either have really deep emotion for someone, okay, or, um, Okay. Three of Pentacles, three of swords. Okay. It's like you've 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 given a lot in a situation. Okay. You've um tried to work as a team, 
try to be cooperative, try to be, um, you know, try to compromise, okay? But with the Three of Swords energy, it's like you keep getting your ass handed to you, right? Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? There is an offer coming your way, I feel, okay? To create some type of change, okay? And this is justice. This could be coming from a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? Yeah. This is to balance out the past, okay? To, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, with the Ace of Swords, higher consciousness card, special card in this deck, and judgment, okay? This is um someone gaining clarity, okay? Someone see, having like an aha, okay? Um, with the higher consciousness card, raising their vibration, raising their consciousness to see, you know, their... mess okay what they've done um how they've moved in a situation okay judgment is a common review okay looking at a situation is like oh, oh that wasn't right okay i need to go back i need to it's like being able to reflect back look at a situation and then check things and move things forward okay with the seven of swords and the four of cups um the seven of swords is um last selling cheating being sneaky four of cups is rejection pushing someone away, not being, uh, being, you know, is being dissatisfied. Okay. Um, yeah. Hermit energy is someone raising consciousness, someone growing wiser and saying like, that's not the way you should be. Okay. Someone being sneaky and closed off, um, maybe even pushing you away, not being, um, upfront. Okay. Yeah, there's a change happening. Anything else for Sage? Anything else for Sage? Okay. Yeah. There's been a lot of drama with the Five of Wands. A lot of crap, okay? A lot of BS. And with the Eight of Swords, it's been keeping you feeling very restricted, very stuck, very limited, okay? Yeah. But the star energy is like, have faith in your dreams. Things are changing around here. Um... Uh, this is recovery and healing to a situation, all right? Um, yeah, the Eight of Swords energy is 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 done, okay? Um, this is a transformation of that, okay? Um, no longer being stuck, no longer allowing, no longer a situation keeping you restricted, okay? Yeah. You might be questioning or thinking about ending something and just moving on, okay? Um, but yeah. Yeah, but spirit's like, not not, not yet, okay? Not yet, okay? Someone's going to fix it. Whoever it is, they're going to fix it, all right? Don't worry. Not yet. Okay? So that's what I have you should. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I <laughs> wish you guys already. Bye.